Thank you, Deputy Speaker. I move the motion relating to small businesses in the terms in which it appears on the notice paper. Uh, Deputy Speaker, small business was at the centre of this government's last budget and the one before that because small business is the engine room, the backbone, the hardworking base of our economy. Small business drives much of the innovation, the job creation, the productivity and the entrepreneurship that we need to generate the opportunities our country so critically needs right now. In my electorate of Brisbane, there's about 30,000 small businesses employing local people and providing so many of the local opportunities. Nationally, small businesses are collectively the biggest source of jobs and opportunities right across Australia. And all of the actions being taken by this government, uh, some of which I've uh, listed in this motion, are targeted at the important prospect of every small business across Australia potentially employing that one extra Australian which would solve un unemployment and underemployment for our youth, for our mature age job seekers, for the Indigenous and the disabled who want and deserve the dignity of work. Deputy Speaker, uh, in addition to recognising how the last two budgets demonstrate this government's support for small business, I want to mention our ongoing focus on cutting waste and on the task of budget repair following those years of labour uh, mismanagement. Those priorities are critical to the question of business and household confidence because confidence is so directly relevant to the prospects of so many small businesses, uh, retailers and service providers alike, who rely on discretion, uh, discretionary spending by their customers. And equally important, uh, for similar reasons actually, uh, is this government's innovation agenda. Uh, the $1.1 billion of initiatives are incredibly significant. The regulatory changes to make it easier to start and fund uh, startups and to commercialise ideas are excellent. But even those uh, benefits, I guess, are, are outweighed, I feel, by the fact that this government's focus has lifted the topic of innovation uh, into the national conversation, uh, making many Australians right across the country think again about that little business idea they've had uh, hanging around in the back of their minds and uh, really driving entrepreneurship. I spoke at some length last week about another key plank of our support for small businesses, our enterprise tax plan to reduce company tax rates. And I look forward to speaking, hopefully later this week actually, about closing down the growing loophole of the uh, GST low value threshold, which has been acting like a reverse tariff wall actually, uh, disadvantaging local uh, retail businesses to the benefit of their offshore competitors. These measures are about improving our international competitiveness a problem which isn't going to go away, uh, it's only going to get worse over time if we don't act. And the reduction of our marginal company tax rate, despite the, the rhetoric sometimes of, of others in this House, is targeted first and foremost for many of its first years, predominantly and solely at small business. If we continue along the path towards being less internationally competitive, when most other equivalent, uh, equivalent economies around the world are heading in the other direction, Small businesses and innovation and jobs will inevitably go overseas. Deputy Speaker, in March last year, the Coalition created an independent advocate for small business in, uh, with the appointment of Kate Carnell as the Australian Small Business and Family Enterprise Ombudsman. Uh, this is already paying dividends for the small business community, as, it's, uh, as, as we've seen her recently release her recommendations on the payment times and practices inquiry. Uh, coming from a small business background myself, I know how cash is king, and these recommendations should help small businesses to improve their cash flow. Uh, the Small Business Ombudsman has also made some significant contributions in the area of small business lending by the banks. Uh, and so I want to mention in passing this government's hearings into the practices of uh, the big four banks here in Australia. Uh, as one of the MPs uh, who gets to sit on the House Economics Committee, which holds the big four bank CEOs to account. Uh, I've made it a particular focus of mine uh, to ask about uh, competition in the banking sector and banks' lending practices uh, to small businesses. Uh, Deputy Speaker, I'm of and I'm from uh, small business. Uh, the list of government achievements and priorities in this motion is as extensive as it is because of the Liberal National Party's uh, being the ones with the experience, the real world experience in small business, and we better understand the opportunities and the challenges faced by small businesses today. Uh, we're committed to the success of the small businesses right across Australia. We're doing so much to allow them to grow, to innovate, to trade, to compete, and, like I said, to create the jobs and the opportunities that this country so desperately, reserve, uh, desperately and critically needs. Uh, I commend this motion to the House. Thank you.